All right, y'all, just a quick little sneak peek of some Asian beef strips or I forget what you call those things, right? Like short rib or whatever. Some mushrooms. We got some homemade spaghetti right there with some Caribbean scotch bonnet pepper sauce. Uh, mixed uh, blend of uh, cheddar cheese, some Parmesan, and some air fried chicken drums right there with some sriracha mayo. So let's get right into it. You know. You know. What's up, y'all? Snoopy's forward back again. And I'm excited for this mukbang right here. So we're going to get right into it because I don't want my food to get cool. I like it scorching hot, especially my spaghetti. We got some fried chicken right here in the air fryer, like I explained earlier. The uh, I think this is Korean short rib and some homemade spaghetti. So let's get right into it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that like and leave some comments and let's go. All right, we're going straight in for the spaghetti. Oh, yeah. Ooh wee. So actually, let me get that thumbnail right here. Perfect. Mm. Mm. Alright, let's try some of these. This is um portobello mushroom. You can use this as a substitute for steak if you're trying to go meatless. Mm. If you love, if you like mushrooms. Mm. All right. Like I said, every video you guys got to excuse the noise, okay? Okay. Let's go in for this drum right here. Look at that, that's beautiful. Huh? My presentation is on um, banging. Mm -mm. I ran out of my regular red hot sauce. <clears throat> but if I could remember, hopefully I don't forget, I'm gonna order on Amazon, give me some Texas beef. I don't think I tried that yet. The air fryer is amazing, man. I love food from the air fryer. <laughs> All right. So we tried the spaghetti, which is bomb. Chicken, you can't go wrong with chicken, man, especially when you know what you're doing. Spaghetti bomb, we need to get another bite and mix some of the pepper sauce up in the pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. Get another bite and then we're going to go in and try them Korean short ribs. Mm. Mm. Forgot to give you guys a cheers. Cheers, y'all. Some iced tea. All right, let's try this first piece right here. <clears throat> Korean short rib right there. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Caramelized onion right there.
I've been more on my um, <clears throat> excuse me, my water and juice kick, but that um, it's just some off-brand iced tea, but it's bomb. Put it in the pitcher with some ice, and then cut up some lime or lemon and put it inside there with it. You can put some honey if you want, some brown sugar, and it's just <clears throat> I'm just enjoying it more than soda now. And this quote unquote new year coming to my channel. I plan on doing some the best top notch vegan foods that I can find. I'm gonna be on a hunt for that. I still Jollibee's man. I haven't done Jollibee's video in a long time or Mary Brown. So if you guys want to see those, I'm definitely gonna film them. If you want to see those, man, leave me comments down below, man. Keep reminding me, Snoop, do that Mary Browns because they got new items too. I think Burger King has a new item. And I've seen somewhere that Popeye's has a blackened, excuse me, blackened chicken sandwich or something like that. Went down a little bit too fast. <laughs> it's nice and chewy, but not like a gummy way. It's more, um, it's tender, but you gotta give it a little chew to it, and that's nice. I like that texture. We're only 10 minutes into the video, <clears throat> and I'm almost finished my food. <clears throat> the spaghetti was so good. <clears throat> I ate it for dinner. The next day I took it to work for lunch, and now I'm filming it for you. And I think I have enough left for one more lunch session. I could eat spaghetti 
I don't think I'd want to have it every single day of the week, but I could easily eat this three, four times a week. Easy. Especially this one right here. Chris, you the bomb. <laughs> Man, I got so much to discuss with you guys, man. <clears throat> On some higher level, higher learning, higher vibration, higher frequency. But I got to watch what I say now. I'm not going to go into detail why. <clears throat> and I'm not going to say any triggering algorithm. Um, words that that triggered uh, the machine, you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. But there's a lot going on. Positive and negative, but uh, some crazy shit too, man. So after work, we stopped to um, go pick up a few things. Oh yeah, I got my ice cream. I got this new flavor, Ben & Jerry's. I can't wait to try it. Yo, I'll be busting back some Ben and Jerry's like a mofo, yo. Um, <clears throat> highly, highly recommend my favorite. Like, I love Hagen Dazs. Don't get me wrong, Hagen Dazs is always one of my top notch favorites. It used to be my number one favorite, but now I have Hagen Dazs and Ben and Jerry's right here. And sometimes I put Ben and Jerry's up here a little bit more than Hagen Dazs, but hey, excuse me, no shade and no love lost at all. Hagen Dazs extras, uh, what's that one? It's um, coffee biscuit. Oh my god. With the chunks of cookie in there and that little black fudge, uh, whatever that is. Oh, it's like a, that coffee fudge, concentrated coffee fudge. It's, it's hard to explain, but if you guys know the flavor, you know what I'm talking about. Excuse me. Anyway, the Ben and Jerry's, that's my favorite. And I just found another one I fell in love with too, but it's called the Tonight's Dough. Like the Tonight's Show, but the, the Tonight's Dough. <clears throat> and it's a mixture of both mm, delicious, rich chocolate ice cream <clears throat> and just decadent beautiful vanilla ice cream come together like a swirl you know what I'm saying? swirling and um it's got chunks of these little things inside but it's bomb um and then uh, what was it oh so i went looking for that the other day and they didn't have it so i picked up another one i don't remember that one right now though I, yeah, it's probably gonna come to me sometime later on as i'm editing this video but um i'm exploring different flavors I had a foul experience with, I think it was Hagen dazs with the peanut butter one, because that thing was mad salty. That It was like ridiculous. I don't know what they were thinking, but that peanut butter was just like, it's like they took a clump of gooey salt and added color and peanut butter flavor to it. It had no sweetness behind it. I don't know if the theme was, you know, make the peanut butter a little bit salty because the ice cream's already sweet but the, but the sweetness from the ice cream did not cut that salt and i never bought that again i would never now i'm timid to try peanut because i seen one um earlier tonight actually um i'm trying to remember the flavor anyway because you know ben and jerry's comes with some bomb flavors it was like banana peanut butter some chunk of something and the ice cream right <clears throat> but i seen the peanut butter and i love peanut butter i'm a huge peanut butter fan don't get me wrong but ever since I had that one from Hagen Dazs, I was just like, nope, hell no. <clears throat> There's a s'mores one I want to try. There's more stuff in it, but basically you got you know, marshmallow, graham cracker or cookie or biscuit, whatever. Um, just some little chocolate thing and then the ice cream. That looks pretty good. I think there's a peanut butter and jelly one, but as I said, mm. <laughs> a little sketchy on the peanut butter. A regular peanut butter, I can take like four or five, six slices of, of bread, even without toasted. And I, when I put my peanut butter on, y'all, I put my peanut butter on thick. Peanut butter on, I slab it on thick. I slather it, wow, just like thick to where you like. That's how I like my peanut butter on my, on my bread. And I have that, and I have my mood. Sometimes I want cold chocolate milk. Sometimes I want it with juice. Um, if I'm lazy, I'll chase it with ice water. 
But most of the times when I'm like preparing, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm craving peanut butter. I'll slather it on and I'll make like a nice big, big uh, mug of uh, either hot cocoa or coffee or tea. One of the three. And I have different ways of eating it. Like I'll roll it like this and dunk it. I like to have it open like this though and dunk it and just kind of bite off the sides and bite it down until it's gone. Or I'll fold it if I'm starving, dunk it and just uh, scarf it down. I'll cut them in half and dunk them. Sometimes I'll toast them. But I'm a dunker. I like dunking. I even dunk my fries and milkshakes. If you haven't tried that, yo, don't knock it till you try it. If it sounds weird to you, hey, look, I'm a different type of dude. You feel me? But uh, <laughs> French fries and McDonald's vanilla milkshake. If you haven't had that, you're missing out. You need to try it. Straight up. But yeah, I'm a dunker roof for sure. Since I was a kid. I love peanut butter. Love it. But yeah, that's the ice cream I got. Well, I don't even did I even tell you the flavor? I don't remember the flavor. It's a nice one though. Mm. Mm -mm. It's chicken. It's like I don't want it to disappear. There was one more piece, but I thought I was gonna be full. I don't want to waste it, but I should have grabbed it now. I think about it. But it's a good thing I didn't. But this spaghetti with like a nice lotus Caesar salad too, just by itself, and with some garlic bread. I've had vegan spaghetti, it's pretty good. Skin on that is packing like a Mike Tyson right hook with that with that flavor on the skin. Damn, <laughs> damn, son. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, but I will I will mention a couple things before I end this right now because we're 17 minutes in, and uh, I'm feeling good. I, I'm I, I would say I'm full. I'm not overstuffed, which I like because um, I'm trying not to like super stuff my stomach no more. You know what I mean? Because like, I noticed on camera, which I love to be in front of the camera for you guys. I love coming rocking out with you guys are awesome. I love eating for you guys because I'm a mukbanger and I love I love mukbangs and ASMRs. Anything to do with food. But I noticed that um, as I'm getting older now and mentally I'm slowly gearing into the vegan lifestyle. I'm looking more into different options, trying out different things. Because if I can, within another year or two, hopefully earlier, if I can transition smoothly and not feel the pressure of no I, I miss i miss steak i miss chicken i miss this if i can find um you know what i mean another a healthy uh, alternative that resembles the taste of meat see now i'm a i'm a i'm, I'm a um a meat eater right so i will obviously look for things that have remind me of that taste and flavor whereas i believe like a a, a true vegan and this is just my opinion um would eat more looking for that plant-based type flavor does that make sense to you like i would be looking more for like oh that looks like that looks bomb it's vegan fried chicken i want to try that right because it's going to taste like fried chicken but without eating the real chicken meat right <clears throat> so hopefully that makes sense but I'm, I'm looking towards that um uh way of living in the very near future right bring you guys some bomb um fresh organic vegan meals and then that's like <clears throat> do some more fruit uh fruit because i've been on my fruits like usually when i wake up i'm not really like a and it's crazy dude because when i was young and especially my teens and early 20s you remember when we were young yeah and as a young man growing up in california running around playing football running with the homies here and there and just like just always active and just always doing something um playing sports having fun doing martial arts and stuff my appetite was huge. I was always a slim dude that could eat pretty much almost the most. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shoot, I remember getting paid, dude, um, working with my Uncle Mike and just have like, just like this crazy knot in both my pockets, man. And just like, just like man, I'm going to go get some gear. I'm going to go get this. I'm going to go get that. But I'd be hungry, so I'd make sure I eat first. So I'd slip off to, to Taco Bell, man, and order like a Mexican pizza 
uh, <clears throat> seven layer burrito, big beef burrito supreme with extra sour cream. Um, what, what, what did they have back then? Uh, like taco supremes, probably get like two, three taco supremes and get the freaking, uh, the one with the pico de gallo in it and eat all of that, work that, wash that down with a big ass drink and then go to the convenience store, get me a pack of Newports, big jumbo bag of, uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos with the, um, the Fritos, uh, cheddar cheese dipping sauce, <laughs> um, uh, whatever to drink. Most likely it probably would have been a 40 and then a juice like to, to, to take back home. Um, and then just smash out on that and then go shopping. And then that, that's how my, my life, my, growing up, man, in California, like as a youngster, <clears throat> carefree like that, that, those are dope times. But I, I used to be able to eat. But as I got older now, I'm, I'm more disciplined mentally, always researching and studying. And uh, I just want to um, wean off a lot of heavy meats. I'm not overeating to fill myself to feel stuff, just full enough to where I'm content and I'm satisfied. And then hour and a half, two, two and a half, two and a half hours later, when I start to get the munchies, I have like a little couple chips here and there, or my ice cream. That's my guilty pleasure, and, I, and you know what I'm saying. Everybody, you know what I'm saying. Some people uh, store coke off their homies' butt cheeks. I mean, shit. But me, we keep it all classic, delicious food over here, and that's how I love it. That's how I like it. But uh, <clears throat> and you know me, I got I got to mix up my humor. I'm just a different type of dude, but uh, I'm unapologetically the way I am. So you know what I'm saying. Uh, how the game say? Uh, Hated to love it, the underdogs on top. And I'm gonna ride, homie, until my heart stop. Go ahead and envy me. I'm Raps MVP, and I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to love it. <laughs> man, hey, I'm gonna download some game from my Spotify, man. Put that on the uh, on the thing tomorrow. It's uh, it's getting close to the weekend, so them vibes of my frequency is just like lit right now. I was going to just cut the video short right here and then just rock out and dip, but I'm going to bobby chop for a little bit. Anyway, I'm doing some research study right now on the ocean. And how certain birds were dragons. I know that's going to sound nuts to y'all, right? Especially you, you guys that are indoctrinated. I love y'all too. Everybody deserves a chance to expand, learn get real true information and do studies and research and look into different things and break free of all of the what's been taught to and just explore life that's what we have to do and i love it <clears throat> and you take the good with the bad but anyway so my studies right now i'm looking into like the bald eagle the condor these are massive birds dude i think the i can't pronounce it the Amerigian or something like that. I'll look again. The Amerigian condor, I think. Stands five foot tall, dog. Five foot tall with a wingspan of anywhere between eight and a half and ten and a half feet. That's taller than me. Dude, ten. Picture a bird. All right, you barbecue and shit. You talk with the homie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sip on the Corona. You got a little cup of shorties over there. You chilling. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right, you pass the split by me. And this big ass bird just wah, land in front of you, man, and stare at you dead in your eye. Look at ancient as hell with some big ass feet, big, big claws and talons and stuff like that with a wingspan 10 feet. And that motherfucker raise up like wah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful bird. But damn, that's big, dude. And I might be the birds getting the birds confused, but there's either one or two uh, different types of birds that live way up high in the Himalaya. Your true player, better not, but live up way, way high, right? Those are big birds. I've seen, excuse me, I've seen bald eagles traveling to and forth on a train uh, back and forth from like the states. Uh, to North America, Canada, back to the States or whatever. And you can see different types of wildlife. And I remember seeing bald eagles and, and um, th those are massive birds. And then when you see them on TV and documentaries and on animal programs and you see them with on a person's arm, how big these birds are and beautiful they're. The bald eagle look pissed at a mo. Damn, that, that bird looked like, man, look. If that bird wanted to whop like lightning speed and just take out your eyeball, that's a wrap, dude. It's a wrap, but beautiful birds. But yeah, I'm looking into that research right there. Um, 
and I came across some research about frequencies. So when you're in a higher and a lower frequencies, things tend to change a lot more and metamorphose different, right? Because if you right now were to go on your phone or your computer and um, type in monarch butterfly or whatever butterfly, right? It starts off in the, what are they called? The pupa or something like that. But we know like the caterpillar stage. Well, even before the caterpillar stage. No, sorry. The caterpillar, so picture a caterpillar like green, black, and white, and yellow. Look like a crazy ass worm, right? Picture it like, you know, doing this little thing, going up the tree, and then going into that little cocoon, that little capsule. That Here's where, here's where like, not no Lord God and, 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 and Elohims and all this crazy fallen angel shit. Our true essence, the creator. Our creator created all life so beautiful. But check this out, though. So this thing goes into this cocoon, right? And it's, let's just say it, it's four to six weeks before metamorphosis, right? But this thing changes into that crazy looking, colorful, worm looking thing. This caterpillar goes into its little cocoon four to six weeks. And I'm just giving just a crazy number because I don't remember right now. But let's say four to six weeks goes into the little thing. Four to six weeks blossoms into a whole complete different creature, but it's it's still the same creature, but turns into this butterfly, sits there and just kind of like you know it's just exercising out its wings and it takes off into the wind. This one once was on the ground, went into this time capsule, <laughs> right, and came out a complete different creature and flies off. So things like that I like to look at, and um, I'm gonna look more deeper into it. If I could find some sources on it and then kind of put together a little study or whatever, but like that's that's I'm heavy into that stuff, man. I'm studying and research a lot of stuff too, especially the Waspi Bible. And the spelling for that is O A H S P E. So maybe I might put it here somewhere. Um <clears throat> if I get to edit it in. But if I don't, uh, it's called a Waspi. O A H S P E. And uh, I'm going to order mine soon. And I'm excited. So many jewels and gems in there, man. It's beautiful, man. Talking about, um, you know, like uh, aborted babies. Um, <clears throat> how that tyrant in the five books of Moses was 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 killing off all them babies and stuff like that. Where do their souls go, right? You're not going to get none of that in uh, Sissy James' uh, book. But you will get it in the Owaspi. It, it breaks down detailed information about the baby's spirit <clears throat> and how it goes off and it continues to uh perform per, per, perform certain functions stuff just like us when we cross over to the other side which is just like this side uh hospitals and school of thought and stuff like that you, you got to graduate so you can get to the universities uh first second and third uh levels of the heavenly plans right but anyway, it's, it's deep information. It's too much to break down within a, a 20, 30 minute video. Plus, I'm not going to be really breaking down too much of that stuff on here because my channel is not um, geared to that. I just drop little bits of jewels and plant some seeds here. And, uh, you know, whoever uh, <clears throat> resonates with it, then I hope that I help you out with that. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to see people come back and say, hey, you know what, Snoop, man? Damn, man. I looked into that book. I bought one, man. I love it, man. I appreciate you. That type of stuff because... I'm, I want to share what I'm interested in and what I'm finding out that's mind-blowing, you know what I'm saying? So, I hope that helps out some people. I still got another nice little bite right here. Ain't nobody wasting no spaz getty. Crazy guy. Mm, that was a bit minty. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Wow, oh, this was a beautiful meal. I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it too. Oh man, if I could just sit home and drop a video every day or every other day for you guys and not have to go to work, I would. I would. You don't see me that often. I don't get to rock out with you guys as much as I want to, but I will. Even though like, and it's winter time now, so it's a lot harder. I'm still going to get out and go try out different spots i know a couple restaurants hit me up on ig Ooh, i forgot to talk about that next video we'll talk about it i got invited out to a couple spots so i'm gonna go check them out i said i'm only coming out if you guys allow me to film they said no problem you can do whatever you want <laughs> so i'm looking forward to that but cheers you guys cheers cheers cheers
Oh man, that that juice is banging. Oh god, I love it. Woo! Oh yeah, and one more thing I gotta say that's just so disturbing, man. Um so I know a lot of people asleep and don't know this and don't really know anything other than what they see on TV that's going on, but there's a brother for those of you guys that know by the name of Young Pharaoh. The Young Pharaoh in the black conscious community, um, <clears throat> and even though I didn't agree, I don't agree with a few things that he, that he puts out there or whatever. That's all good, but I support the brother for standing up and and trying to push a movement and trying to get the peoples together and uh, and 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 get everything and own everything for ourselves and all that good stuff you know what I'm saying he was speaking um he was speaking i don't want to put him in this category because i completely love and respect brother malcolm x um brother muhammad ali and uh our brother tupac but he was gearing in that direction you understand what i'm saying so i'm not placing him in that category but i'm not discrediting him too at the same time because he's got his own way about it i just i keep certain legends to me in their space with no comparison to no one all right but young pharaoh uh in my opinion the power that he had he still has it but i'm gonna get to i'm, I'm gonna get to why i say had he was pushing in that, that that direction, but he said a few things. I think that this is why they got out of him. Excuse me, when I say they, you know. I'm going to leave it here. You look at the most powerful stuff Young Pharaoh has done and put out, whether you agree or not, okay? Take just, just We don't have time for biased ass people. <clears throat> Go back and look at his, the way he talked and his strength and his energy and his focus on, his, on the goals, all right? <clears throat> and look at the few... Things that he that was powerful that he said before the young pharaoh of now. Alright. He has completely lost his goddamn mind. And at first, we, uh, it was like an anger thing. It was like, what is this fool doing? This fool sold out? And then it was like confusion. Like, hey, yo, this fool is like, like he's like a clone, dude. He didn't, even, didn't even, it's like, he's like, it's like his outer shell. And a complete different spirit and just everything just hella weird and different, right? He's a complete different person. Got that crazy tattoo on his eye and stuff. Uh, calling women, uh, you know, just he was never like that, dude. And I seen Pharaoh get worked up, but he was never like that, man, at all. Calling himself the general now. It's just it's, it's crazy, dude. Like, I, I, I don't want to go no more further into it. But it went from the anger, confused stage... To now, I'm just feel so bad for this brother, man. I wish that, um, and I don't like to use the word wish either, but I'm just going to just kind of come back down to everybody's level where they're at so they can understand and say that I wish the brother well. Um, I'm hoping that <clears throat> a real shaman can, can get to this brother, man, and realign his chakras. I, I think one of his chakras might be blown up, man, because he... That could be part of it, but I really think it's MK Ultra. I think that they really got to this brother who was talking too much of that Black Power movement. I think that his 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 uh, unique ideas and the money he was making and the support and the following that he had so strong, dude, growing just like how Pac was was talking about certain things. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then boom, flip, just a 360 spin, a complete different programmed human being it he it's it's crazy dude if you've never seen something like this before regardless of where your mind is at how closed mind you are if you don't look into these things or whatever hey that's on you man i, I wait, we rolling right over you we ain't, we ain't worried about you people we're talking to the people that's that's awakened in this life that we're living and what's going on on earth right and seeing this right here it just puts all the truth on the table and you just like god damn wow dude this we really got to protect our energy you guys and get back to the true creator and to nature and this is what was also motivating me to look into um I, I i'm quitting smoking and getting back to the gym and just doing just different lifestyle changes for me personally 
not for you, not for anybody else. I don't want to hear about, oh yeah, you know, you eat this way, you should do that. That's this. It's not about you. This is about me doing things that I'm feeling inspired to go to. It's going to take some time, and however much time I need to take, is how much. That's going to be the time, and that's it. I'm, I'm not answering to nobody. So. I have to say it like that because, you know, people like to always put the little input in. But you should know with me by now, dude. They don't come at me like that because I'm like a double-edged sword, dude. I cut your ass and mine at the same time. You know, it's, 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 it's what I want to do. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to, yeah, put that out there like that and say, hey, look, I'm about to get up out of here. But listen, protect yourselves at all times, you guys. Don't give everybody your energy. Don't let weirdo people in your homes and stuff like that. Um you know, drink your, your bitter herbs and uh, tonics and, and, and stay up. I'm going to order some for the brothers. Say la shalom, man, if you ever get a chance to see this video. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I do want to touch on some more topics next video. I'm going to try to um, kind of plan it out of it. Most of the time it's just freestyle just so that I'm careful with what I say. But, yeah, man, it's it's, it's a shame what, what's happening young Pharaoh. Um, but the information that I've been studying and research is just so much of it. I can't wait. And I can put it all on my phone, listen to it, dissect it, break it down, do some highlighting, all that good stuff and keep it gangster like that. All right. But anyway, I'm about to sign out y'all. So anyway, I love you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below and I'll stay in touch with you on social media. You'll see me there. All right. It's your boy Snoopy's Fall Away signing off. I love y'all. Stay blessed. You know.